when our users select one of the Apollo missions from our main list, we want to show information about that mission. That means its mission badge, its mission description, and all the astronauts that were on the crew for that mission along with their roles. Now the first two of those aren't too hard, but the third requires some extra work because we've got to try and match up crew IDs with crew details across two different JSON files. Let's start simple and work our way up. First things first, press Command N to make a new Swift UI view. Call this thing missionview.swift. Now initially, this is just gonna have a mission property that will track which mission's being viewed. So we can show its badge and description. Let's add that now. We have let mission is a mission. In terms of layout down here, this thing has to have a scrolling V stack with a resizable image for the mission's badge. Then a text view for the description. Now we're gonna use a container relative frame for the mission badge to get its width set correctly. Through some simple trial and error, I've found the mission badge works best when it's not the full width of the screen. Somewhere between about half and three quarters of the screen works best to avoid becoming weirdly big. Anyway, we're gonna say in here, make a scroll view, then a V stack, and then draw our missions image like that. Like I said, this thing has to have a size set from the parent. So we'll make sure it's resizable and scaled to fit, to keep the aspect ratio correct, then has a container relative frame. I'm gonna say when I match the container's horizontal size, and when it gives us the width of the parent and the current axis, I'm gonna say simply take the parent's width and multiply it by 0.6. So we get 60% of the parent's width for the mission badge. Below that, I'm gonna make another vertical stack. So we'll do V stack alignment leading this time. Inside there, we'll say a text of uh, mission highlights with a font of title.bold and a bit of padding across the bottom of five points so it stays away from the thing directly below it. Then we'll draw our mission description. Now this inner V stack has lots of text inside. So I'll make sure it has padding of horizontal so it doesn't stay right next to the edge of the screen but comes in slightly from the edge of the screen. And then the outer V stack, I'll give some padding of bottom so it doesn't sit right next to the very edge of the bottom of the screen. Then for the scroll view, I'll say, let's add a nav title of mission.display name, a nav bar title display mode of inline and our detail view, and a background of our dark background color. Now I've placed this outer V stack and inner V stack together, it's intentional. It allows us to control alignment for only part of the view here. This main mission image will be centered on the screen because the main V stack is centered by default. But the words mission highlights and description, they're aligned to the leading edge, which looks better for text. Anyway, with that in place, you're gonna find your code won't build anymore because down here in the preview, we have not passed in a mission for our preview thing here. Um, helpfully, our bundle extension works just as well here too. So I can say in our preview, load our missions as an array of mission using bundle.main.decode missions.json, json even, there we go. And then simply pass that in and send back our missions view with the mission being missions zero, first one, making sure to pass in a preferred color scheme of dark, like so, and hopefully that'll preview like that, boom. So we're saying, make sure we have a preferred color scheme of dark for our preview. We don't need that in our main view. So you'll get that from the navigation stack. That whole stack has a preferred color scheme of dark. This is pushed onto the stack, it'll be fine automatically but the preview's not inside that parent content view stack. So we're gonna apply it separately here. Now, if you look at the preview over here, you can see it's a good place. 
for a start with, right? But the next part's trickier. We want to show under here the list of astronauts who took part in the description along with their roles. Let's tackle that next.